Well, hey there, everyone. It's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi. Hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, evening, morning, overnight, all of that good stuff. Today, we're here with another video, and this time we're going to be um, doing a kind of part two in a series of videos I am working on where I do one kit from Diamond Art Club as it has been sent to me straight out of the box. And then I do it again, but with enhancements from DP with sparklers. So this is the second video. Um, I did a finish and review of this one. Um, so go take a look at that. Um, but this will be the second uh, where we identify which colors we want to enhance on this one and then I will cut over to me on the computer ordering those drills from DP with sparklers. Um, so we're doing that right now. So the first step in this is to start identifying which colors, uh, which DMCs we wanna go ahead and replace. So I've got the first finished canvas here. So I'm hoping what I can do is just say, okay, I'd rather that be enhanced, match it up to this side, and then I will find out how, or I'll approximate how many drills from DP with sparklers I will need. I will be using all sparklers from DP with sparklers, the round drill sparklers. So keep that in mind, that that's all I wanna use on this kit to keep it simple for you. Um, we're not doing glow, we're not doing crystals, we're not doing metallics, we're not doing MMMM. We're just doing the sparklers from DP with sparklers, keep that in mind. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is um, we're gonna dive right in, start identifying them. I've got my notepad and my pen so I can write down which DMC I have decided to enhance and then approximately how many bags of those drills I will need. Um, I've already kitted up this kit, so here it is, 36 colors here, and I'll tell you why I went ahead and kitted up some of these, even though I might technically not ever touch some of these because I'm enhancing, I'll tell you why. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm just gonna kind of work my way up bottom to top on the canvas. Um, so working my way up, I'm gonna leave probably all of the background color, all of the background colors the same, um, A, because their background, and B, because a lot of these background colors, these teals, these greens, the brown, the 310, there's a lot of them, and it would be expensive to buy several bags of this blue or this green. So I am gonna leave the background majority alone. Um, I am seeing this color here that just does this little detail here, and there's some here. It's um, almost kind of like a minty green, and I only see it in like these two spots. So um, let's go ahead and find out what color that is. Um, so we're gonna come over here. It looks like that is L. And that is DMC 993, it's serial 28. So if we pull it out, that's how much of those drills that we have, just that little bit. So I really think it's only in like these three spots. And I think that might look nice with a little something something. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down um, DMC 993. 993, and then um, I know that um, each bag of drills from DP with sparklers, the sparklers for rounds, are approximately 1,200 drills. And I know that these containers hold about 1,200 of the sparklers and about 1,400 regular drills like these. Those glass drills from DP with sparklers, those sparklers are a little bit bigger, so I find that these can hold about 1,200 of those 1,400 regular drills. So obviously, I just need one bag. This is just a tiny amount. So I just need one bag. So I'm gonna write 993, one bag. So there we go. Cool. All right. So, um, moving on, we're gonna kind of keep working our way up the canvas here. Um, yeah, I think that this will all just be fine as is. We've got this, um, this chartreuse color here um, in this petal, at, or this, uh, this little 
droplet here, it's here and it's this whole section right here as well, as well as right here. Let's go ahead and write that down, that kind of chartreuse green, and that's gonna be um, N, and N is 907, serial number 23. So that's how much of that is on this canvas. Once again, not very much at all. That's a, to me, that's a good color to enhance because I'm not gonna be buying a ton. So we're gonna go ahead and write 907, and we're gonna write one bag, perfect. Okie dokie. So moving up, um, we're already gonna have this color here, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I do, let's look at this, oops, sorry. Um, let's look at this light blue here. There's this light blue that's right here, right here. It's a little bit here, here. It is in some of the background. There's a little bit of it there, but I don't think there's a ton. There's a tiny bit there. Let's look at that one because that kind of stands out as like a little piece of like glistening water. Um, so it looks like that's gonna be H and H is 3766, 32. So yeah, just a small handful of that. I think I wanna go ahead and do that too. So um, that is 3766. One bag, perfect. Okay, moving on, now we're getting to some good stuff. Um, both of these pinks here and this peach, well, hmm, let's see. So if we look at this, we're already, um, we're already enhancing what did I do here? Hold on. I might have actually messed up. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, I was like, did I just mess something up? No, okay. So we're already gonna be doing this green right here. So then we have this kind of yellowish green coming down here. I think I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, and then we have this kind of peachy pink here. Um, and that is also represented right here on the tip of this leaf, uh, this petal. And then it does a little bit of detailing work up here. I do want to go ahead and um, write that one down. What I'll probably do is I might mark that as a maybe. That way when I get over to the computer and start putting together my cart, and if I'm like, this is way too expensive or more than I want to spend, then my maybes will be the ones that I cut before the other ones. So this kind of peachy pink that's right here, this like kind of peachy color, let's find out what that is. So we're gonna come over here and that's the equal sign 967, and that's 27. So that's how much we're working with with that color. Once again, I could I could just do one bag of the sparklers to to take care of this whole thing. So that's 967 967 one bag maybe. <laughs> okay, cool. So you can see that's why I went ahead and kitted this up beforehand because Diamond Art Club doesn't give me drill counts. I don't know how many of each drill is in the, for each color. So I have to kind of just eyeball it by kitting it up and saying, okay, that's half a container. I'll be able to do that with one bag. Um, whereas like this color here, obviously this is 310, I'm not enhancing this, but I'd probably just to play it on the safe side, get three bags for two containers. Because once again, these can hold more regular drills than they can sparklers. So you just wanna give yourself a little um, room for error. Um, if you're thinking, okay, I might need, you know, maybe one bag will do this, I would suggest go ahead, going ahead and getting two, um, just, just so you don't have to run out and then order more and then pay for shipping again. I always tend to lean on buy more than I potentially would need. And if I have leftovers, I can use them on the next kit. So, okay, um, moving on, we've got this kind, of, um, this kind of pink here, like a true pink coming down the middle. Um, it's also here, it, it does a lot of work here. And so I do wanna write that one down. Um, I really want this, this flower to just really pop, but I have to be careful um, and we'll talk about why. Um, so that's the slash symbol, um, which is 605 and that's 11. 
so that's this here. Um, let me let me see where it is. Yeah, I do want to do that one. I do want to do that one. Okay, let me write it down. Um, this is 11605, DMC 605. And once again, I could get by with doing one bag for that. Um, anything fuller than about this, I would probably get two bags just to play it safe. Um, okay, so that next pink is the plus symbol, and that is 3609. That's here, here. You know what? I think I'm going to leave that one. So I'm going to leave this purpley pink alone. It does make its way throughout the entire, entire kit here and there, but there's, I want to do some more of these deeper, brighter pinks. Um, so I'm just going to pick this one pink color. Um, the other reason why you want to be careful with not just completely, you know, sparkling the entire thing is because sometimes those spark, those glass drills are ever so slightly bigger than a regular drill. So if you're putting a ton of them together, you can end up with a little bit of bunching. So I do like to leave a couple regular colors to give the other enhancement drills some room to breathe and, and if they're a little too big. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes it does. Um, that slash pink that I'm enhancing is also in both of the koi fish, so it's gonna give them a little something extra too, which is nice. So, um, okay, moving on, um, I wanna definitely get some of these brighter pinks here in the middle. So um, let's take a look at what this one is here. And it looks like that's gonna be our carrot, or less than, greater than sign, 956, 26. So that's how much of that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, 956. And we'll need one bag. Okay. Then, um, this next brightest color, I want to do that too, I think. And that's going to be L. And that is 891.19. That's how much of that we're working with. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 19, 891, one bag. 891, one bag. Perfect. Um, the rest of this is ABs, so I'm fine with that, but I do want to do this kind of fiery orange in the dead center. Um, I want to do that too, and that one is the key symbol, and that's 947.25, so just a handful of that orange, so that'll be good. Um, 947, one bag. Okay, now we're moving up to the top. We've kind of covered our pinks here. We're gonna move up. Um, I really think the only, mm, uh, I might do a few here. We'll, we'll put some of these as maybe, but I definitely wanna do this yellow here, these, the yellow leaves. Um, let's see what symbol that is. That's the dot. And that is 726, number 12. So that's how much we're working with there. So we're going to do that. 726, one bag. One bag. Okay. And then we'll put the rest of these as a maybe. Um, this kind of deeper, more goldenrod kind of yellow there. That's going to be X, 742, color 15. So that'll be a maybe, 742, one bag, maybe. And there's also this orange, this uh, deeper orange that's mixing in. Oh, it's kind of yellowish orange mixing in with the, the red ABs. Um, and let's see what color that is. It's going to be A, 741. And we're just working with that little amount. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that as a yes. Um, 741, one bag. One bag, okay. 
And I think that's about it. So we've worked our way from bottom to top. Um, there really isn't anything in the background that I want to do. Um, this peachy pinkish color that I said I want to do is also represented up here as well. So we're going to get some of that up there. So we're enhancing a decent amount of this, but like I showed you, those bags of drills were not crazy. Oh, there is this fire red that isn't an AB that runs throughout here. Uh, I want to, I want to do that one too. <laughs> That's uh, the arrow down, 321, seven. So we just have that little bit. Let's go ahead and do that too. Let's go ahead and do that too. Seven, 321, one bag. 321, one bag. Okay, so yeah, I mean, this is a lot for sure, but we're not really changing the background too much other than these little little swipes of blue that are kind of here and there, just very minimal. Everything's really focused on the actual lotus flower itself, which I think makes sense for this image. So um, you don't have to, you know, to, to learn how to enhance or to take on enhancing. You don't have to have two kits. I, it's just nice to have these. Um, what I would do is I'd simply, let's say I just had this, um, I would just start working my way up and start trying to take a look at some of these background colors or just pick like where you want your focal point or want to put some focus on. So like the lotus flower, I could just say, okay, this is N, it's a little here and here. That'll look good. And then do the exact same thing. It just happens to be really nice that I have a finished one to be like, ah, okay, I could, it's easier to visualize. Um, Diamond Art Club, I believe has a slightly different, it, depending, I feel like it depends on the kit, but I don't always see this rendering with like the red symbols and the blue symbols and the, this different colors, purple, um, on round kits. Sometimes I see them and it's just black and white. That to me is easier to look at visually. Like this is almost a little jarring to look at when there's no drills down on it. Um, so it, it also sometimes depends on the printing of the symbols, how easy it is for me to see where all the different colors are going to go. Um, but do the best you can. When in doubt, I, I don't follow this rule, but less is more. Start with just a couple colors, see how you feel, and, um, and go from there. And then as you build your confidence, you can start incorporating some more colors or less or whatever you want to do. Um, but I really do feel like Diamond Art Club's rendering style lends itself, itself to enhancement really well because of the hand charting. You're not gonna find some of these pinks randomly just like one dot here, one dot here, one dot here. They've, they've done such a good, they always do a good job with their hand rendering. And to me, it makes it a little bit easier to enhance um, than a heavy computer render. So I f just trust yourself say you can do it and go for it um, because it, it really is not that bad. I mean, you just saw what I did there was very, very easy and I could have done that even without having this finished piece. So, um, okay, so here is our shopping list. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then potentially two others. Um, so potentially 12 bags of, of enhancements. Now I'm gonna go through this and start building my my shopping cart and start picking some colors. And then I might get to check out and be like, oh yeah, no, I'm not spending $140 on this kit just to enhance or whatever this ends up being. So you may have to make some tough decisions at the back end, but I try to go with as many options as we have or as I think would be appropriate for the canvas. And then we'll start whittling this down on the back end based off of cost and what I'm comfortable spending on a kit and that just depends on my mood and and my my finances <laughs> when I decide to purchase I guess um there you know might be times where I'm like okay I'm only gonna pick three of these or maybe I'll take them all you know life life happens so um we'll get over to the computer and start building this out and we'll see what our final cost is and I'll show you how I try to match colors um, just by going off the DMC. The only other, the only issue I could see with this process is Diamond Art Club now makes their own like 
6000 series DMC colors. So if that's the case, and it's a color that you know you're not gonna be able to just find elsewhere, it's like Diamond Art Club specific, take a picture of the canister before you head over to your computer or bring the canister with you if you so choose um, over to the computer so you can just color match that way. But um, we will head over to the computer and I'll walk you through what happens next, okay? Bye. All right, everyone. So um, here we are. Um, I'm just going to be, I have the mic going, obviously, you can hear me, but I'm doing a screen share on my computer. So you won't see me. You're just going to see what I'm doing on the screen, but I'm going to talk you through it as I'm doing it. So you can see what we're what we're working with here. So um, okay, so what I have is I've got two windows up and both of them have DP with sparklers on them. And I'll tell you why. Um, one side of the screen, um, we will be looking at our sparklers, our actual enhancement drills, but I also need to type in my DMC codes to pull up the color um, to see what the, the color, original color that's down in the kit would be. Now, I could absolutely, um, and this is what I normally would do, I would write these down and then bring the kit upstairs with me um, and then just pull out the drills and look at them with my own eyes. But you won't be able to see me doing that. Um, so I wanted to give a visual representation of what this looks like on the computer. Um, but of course I could just pull the drills out of the container and look at them with my own eyes, um, which is what I normally do. But for the purposes of this, because I want to show you, you know, me looking at them, quote unquote, we're going to have the DMCs pulled up on this side. So um, I'll show you what I mean right here. If you're like, what is he talking about? So the first one was 993. So we're going to go here into the DP with sparklers um, site. We're going to hit search and I'm going to type in 993. And that's the pixie dust in that sea green, which is fine. We just need like a rough estimate of the color. It doesn't need to be the plain, um, the plain DMC. It looks like all she has are these pixie dust, um, but it's gonna give us, uh, oh, okay. So this is actually 959. Oh, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I like that. Here's what we'll do. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, so um, since I didn't, uh, I. I didn't realize that there was a chance that not all of the DMCs would be on DP with sparklers. Um, they don't have like a ton of just regular plain drills. I don't even know if they have any plain drills. So that was a mistake on my part. So what I've done now is I've went to Diamond Drills USA website because this is where I typically get replacement drills or regular basic drills when I need them. Um, and so they usually have most of the colors, but really all we're, all I'm doing on this site is pulling up the color. So keep that in mind. We're not shopping from here or anything like that. I just want to see the color, which again, you could do at home by just grabbing the drills, <laughs> but I wanted to once again, just show this. So I'm going to type in 993. So here's our original color here, 993. And so what I want to do is I want to go into DP with sparklers, drills, round drills, uh, round sparklers. That's what we're shopping for. That's all we're shopping for. And so I'm going to click on that. And that's going to pull up 148 different sparklers that I can choose from um, to to purchase from. So what I want to do is I just kind of want to scroll and see if like, oh, that might look like it's a close color and click on it and take a closer look. So let's look at these frozen. Those are nice. I like those. And you can see it says approximately 1400 drills here and that'll be enough. Um, there's also these AB glow glass. I actually already own these. So if this is the color we pick for that, then I'll probably just use what I already have. Um, sparklers in a Tiffany blue. I don't know if mine are Tiffany blue though. Um, I think my, no, those are definitely not the ones I have. Maybe mine are t considered Tiffany blue. Anyway, let's keep looking. I saw these a second ago and I was like, oh, that's actually pretty close. 
I actually really like that mocha mistletoe. Those are pretty. Let's go with those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add to cart. I just need one bag of those. Okay. So that takes care of that. And then I'm going to write, uh, I'm grabbing a pen. So I'm going to write next to each of the things that I wrote down what I'm swapping it out for. That way when they come in, I don't forget. So I'm going to write mocha mistletoe. Okay, perfect. Then our next one was 907. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Ooh, that's that bright chartreuse. Okay, cool. So we're going to hit the back button. And I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top. And I'm going to go down again. Mm -hmm. That daffodil's a little too yellow. That light green's a little too green. Uh, we've got that neon lemon that, I mean, it could work. It could work. You've got that neon lime. Mm, I'm not really feeling that either. This neon sour apple. Oh, these are what I have. I have the sea foam opal glow glass. Let's take, I mean, let's take a look. Let's keep scrolling. Okay, and the rest of these are all sets. Let's take a look at this opal glow glass sea foam. I mean, it's not a dead ringer, but you can see with a lot of these sparklers that you get different hues of colors. They're not completely solid all the time. So we're actually getting little hits of more green, some more yellow. I'm definitely seeing some chartreuse kind of hits here. And so let's go ahead and go with these. Um, I'm not gonna add them to my bag because I already have them, but I'm just gonna make note that I'm gonna be using my opal sea foam glow glass for that. Okay, perfect. All right, well, that saves me a couple bucks, right? We already have those on hand. Let's do 3766. Kind of a sky blue. Um, wee, scrolling up. I really like these waterfall. These are pretty. Those are pretty. Um, I think that's just going to have to be a done deal. I really like those. Um, so as you can see, these aren't named after DMCs or anything. I'm just, I'm just looking at them with my own two eyes and saying that's close enough. So they don't have to be exact matches. They just kind of have to be in it in the general realm of what you're trying to do. Um, so let's go, did we already add that? Nope. So let's add to cart and we're going to write down AB glow glass waterfall. Okay, then we've got 605. So coming back over here, and we're just using this for color reference. That, that soft pink. Let's see what this morganite. Oh, those are pretty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love those. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. That's it. Add to cart. Okay, so we're doing instead of 605, we're doing. A, B, Glow Glass, Morganite. Those are gorgeous. Tima, those are the, oh, I love that. Okay, sorry. All right, next up we have, <laughs> we have 956. Okay, a little bit of a more peachy, peachy pink. Dang, those Morganites are beautiful. I almost want to get two so I don't, just in case I need them again. Look at these. Oh, those are beautiful. Mocha Heather. Oh, love it. Okay. Um, let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Mm, tickled pink now. No, I want that peach, peachy hue in them. Neon peach, let's look at neon peach. Oh, those are nice. 
Those are nice. Let's let's uh, let's go with those. Neon, neon, though, that's what's getting me is the neon of it all. But that's a pretty close color match. Okay, let's add them. So we're doing neon peach. I think I just got a delivery. I heard the the truck pull up. Eight ninety one is our next one. Sorry. 891. We're gonna go with that peach. I think that's good. Okay, this is like a really like intense pink. Let's find something that's really gonna really gonna be a stunner. Let's look at mm, I don't know if that magenta's right. Let's see. I don't think that's right. I mean we could because there's such a color variant here. But let me see if I can find something that is more what I have what I'm ha I have envisioned, you know. Um, look at that rhapsody is really pretty. Those are pretty. I just I don't know. Ooh, yes. Honey. Coral reef. I love it. Okay. So we're going to do, make sure I don't forget to add to cart. Okay, Coral Reef. We'll do one bag of those for that. Okay. Um, then we've got 947. 947. That's like a true, like an actual peach, orangey peach. I should have started at the top. Sorry. What do we think of this amber? That that could work. That amber could work. Let's try to find something else. Pumpkin spice. Look at these. Ugh. Those are too light, but I love that color. Did we already do mocha wintergreen? Oh, look at this color. Okay, sorry. Now I'm just shopping. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's just let's let's get let's cut to the chase here, Anthony. Right? Um, okay. Uh, that neon orange is like a little too much for me. I feel like. What's the difference between? Oh, those are AB Glow Glass Neon Orange. Let's click on it just to see. Um, no, no. That Neon Tangerine looks nice. Okay, so usually when something like this happens where I'm just like not finding a color that is really wowing me, then I usually will just skip it and be like, okay, well, then it just wasn't meant to be. Let's take one more cursory look over these. I almost want to go with this amber. One of my hesitations with it is I just don't know where else I'd use it on another kit. I'm just going to write it down. And I'm going to put a little asterisk, like, if something's got to go, get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and do amber. That's close enough. It's close enough. And then we'll do 726. Ooh, we can have some fun with this color. Um, okay, look at this awakening. Isn't that nice? Those are pretty. They have almost kind of like lavender hues to it. You see what I'm saying with like those, it depends on where the light hits some of these drills. It's beautiful. Honeydew, ooh, those are nice. Those are nice. Should we do those? Let's look for one more. Otherwise, we're coming back to honeydew. There's meadow. Those are nice. Those almost have like a green, whereas this is a more true yellow. Is there any of these really pretty? I don't know. Let's see. I do. I Oh, I used up all my butternut. Butternut could have worked. Daffodil might be a good one, too. 
<gasps> oh, I love those. What do you think, everyone? Should we do daffodil? Or let's look to see if there's any others. Those yellow, and I don't, I don't want just straight up yellow. Sorry, I'm scrolling fast. Ooh, look at that pineapple. <gasps> I love those two. That, they're not quite dark enough. You could go for them. This is just me. I, I have the luxury of picking from all of this, but you could do, it's really your call. You know, as long as it's kind of in a yellowish range, it's gonna look fine. But since I'm buying all this new, I'm not just using what's in my stash of drills. I kind of have the pick of the litter. <gasps> Look at these bananas. I do like those. Those are cute. Dang it. This one's a tough one. Okay, let's do... It's either going to be daffodil or... Daffodil or... Was it honeydew? Daffodil or honeydew? I feel like the daffodil's closer. Yeah. Okay, daffodil it is. Daffodil it is. Those are beautiful. Add to cart. And we're doing, what was it? Daffodil? D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L. Okay, perfect. And then 741 is our next one. Okay, and more another more orange. And we did neon peach last time for the orange. This is a little bit of a richer orange. I could almost see myself pulling, let's pull that pumpkin spice up. Where did that go? Do y'all see it? Do I scroll past it? Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're a little bit more red. And you can see um, a, some of these sparklers are slightly different shades. They're not 100% uniform, which I actually like. It provides a little variety to it. Once again, my only thing with these is I'm also trying to for think forward and be like, where else would you use these? And I just don't know. But uh, I don't know. They're a little too brown. They're a little too brown. Sorry. They're a little too brown. I freaking love these, all of these colors. It's too light, but I, that is just, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yo, I am not seeing, I'm not seeing anything. Let's see. Let's scroll all the way down. Sorry, this is making you sick, <laughs> all the scrolling. Um, I'm honestly, none of these are giving me what I want. Yeah, none of these are giving me what I want. I'm gonna go ahead and just cross that one off. We're not gonna enhance that one. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could, I absolutely could, I'm going to, I'm going to show you just for the purposes of, um, exploring the website, I am going to show you, we'll go into some other sections here. I'm not going to buy from them. Uh, but we have round ABs. We have these things called round bubbles. We have these round crystals, round glitter, round glow, round metallic, neon, pixie dust, pearls for round, plain drills. Um, so I'm sure there's something in here, like, let's just randomly, let's see what we have in, um, I'm curious about these bubbles, quote unquote bubbles. So you can see that the bubbles, oh my gosh, I almost, oh, there's not very many colors. I was like, should I try bubbles? But you can see how they're, um, rather than being faceted, the bubbles look like bubbles. Those are really cool. I've never used them. So instead of having facets, they're just bubbly. So you do have those. Terra could, would, might be a good, mm, no, it's still a little light. Those are really pretty. They look like little raindrops. 
those would be beautiful on like a canvas that's got like a rainy outside. Um, just for the fun of it, let's uh, let's take a look at pearls for round. Aren't those pretty? So those take up the spot of four drills, um, if I do recall. Yeah, they do, I think. Let's find out. Yeah, so they, they're those big old big boys. So we can't use those. Um, uh, I just, I'm just out of curiosity. I'm clicking on some of this stuff. Yeah, I don't like, I really don't like glitter drills all that much. So yeah, I mean, it is what it's. That's, that's too bad. Um, we could definitely make one of these work. Like I could probably use, I could probably switch amber. We already used amber, but go back and reassess, you know, and try to fit them more close, closely or find two shades that are fairly close. All right, let's take a look at cinnamon. Mm, no, no, thank you. Um, yeah, bullion. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Those could work. Those are pretty. Should I try it? Let's try it. I'm going to try it. All right, 741 is back in the game. We're going to do B-U-L-L-I-O-N. Bullion. I think that has to do with, like, gold or something, but I think of it as, like, like chicken, like chicken bullion. Is that something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, let's keep going. I'm taking way too long. 321. Oh, heck yeah. I'm sure we're going to be able to find something. That beautiful red. Um, okay. Magma. Hello. Ooh. Okay, let's keep looking though, because I know we do have reds, reds, we have quite a number of options. We already did coral reef. I love a fire sparkler. These are like one of my favorites to use. I love a fire sparkler. Um, garnet. Ooh. Uh, okay, I think garnet is number one for me so far. There's just plain red. For whatever reason, when they're just called the color, I'm like less enthused. Uh... I think it's going to have to be garnet. Those were beautiful. Where are they? Indian pink. Oh, those are pretty too. What do you think? I love that garnet. That garnet's giving me something. Yes. Yes. Garnet it is. Okay, so that's that. Garnet. Okay, gosh, darn it. Um, okay, now we're going to do our maybes, 967. Oh. I'm scrolling right to those, where are they? I'm going right to, now where did they go? Sorry everyone, I'm scrolling a lot. Oh, it's because I'm not seeing all of my results. Why can't I see all of them? There we go. That's going to mix up the order, but... Oh, was I missing some colors for the last couple? It's okay. I, it's too late to turn back. It's too late to turn back. Um, I want to see... We already used the Morganite. We already did that one. Look at these these nectar mocha nectars. Should we do those? I'm really entranced by some of these. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna need one bag. OK. 
Okay. And then... Then 742 is our last one. Okay. Yeah, there's there was a couple where I had I maybe was uh, missing some of them because you can see here it's saying 13 of 24. So like it's it's moved to a page two, but it's not it's not going back. You know what I mean? That's okay. That's okay. Maybe what I'll do is after I'm done filming this, I might go back and just double check some of these to make sure that there isn't something else. But for the sake of time, let's just let's get let's just get to it. Um, okay, so this last one, honeydew. Ooh, did I already do a honeydew? I didn't do a honeydew. Let's do it. Those look good. That looks like a good match. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm missing one of our colors, but let's go ahead, just for the sake of wrapping this up, you get the picture, you get the idea of how I'm matching these up, but let's go ahead and see what we're gonna be spending here. So before, ta before shipping and tax, this would be 41.69. I may have some sort of um, some sort of um, coupon code. I'll have to go and check. Um, Tima usually has some kind of coupon going on, so always double check either her Facebook group or something like that. Um, so we have Mocha Mistletoe, Sea Foam Glow Glass, which I already have, the AB Waterfall, the Morganite, the Neon Peach, the Coral Reef. Oh, I forgot the Amber. I forgot the Amber. Uh, daffodil, bullion, garnet, mocha nectar, and honeydew. So let's go ahead and grab that amber. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, there she is. Those are sparklers for squares. We want the regular ones. There we go. Cool. So now we're looking at 4564. Um, but obviously, I won't be able to show you tax and shipping and stuff because um, I'd have to show you my address, which I'm not going to do. Um, so that's kind of it. I would just place this order, use any coupon codes I have. I always leave a nice note in there for Tima. Thank you so much. And then once they come in, um, I will kit them up into my storage containers. The way I do that is I just write the serial numbers, uh, serial number on it as it relates to the diamond painting. So let's say it's number 14. I'll put 14 mocha mistletoe. So that way I know it goes next to the, the original in the storage container or in the storage set. It goes next to the original. And so it's just a visual reminder of like, oh, this is you know, this is the one. Um, you could also, once these come in, pull those old, the original drills, the non-enhanced drills out of your storage container and set them aside until you're done with your project so you don't accidentally trip yourself up and put the regular drills down by mistake. Um, if that's what you want to do, um, sometimes that, that would probably make it easier. But really the only reason I do that is to measure how much, how many bags of these drills I'm going to need is really the only reason I do this. So um, if it was another kit that gave me drill counts, like a Jaded Gem Shop or something, I wouldn't kit those colors up at all. I would just go right to my computer, order my enhancements and kit those up instead. So I hope that was helpful. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this um, in this video. But um, once these come in, I'm going to kit them up and I'm going to get started on this project. Um, and the 
the next video will be that one finished and we'll talk about the difference the visual differences between the non-enhanced and the enhanced kit so yeah let me know if you have any questions comments don't forget to like subscribe share this content with friends family members anyone that you think might take some value out of it um, otherwise happy placing and we'll see you next time bye 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 bye, bye.